Hi everyone. Happy weekend. How is everyone doing? I am bringing out my Art Nouveau set by Kuritake and I want to play with it because I haven't played with it in a long time. So I am thinking of using some greens. I have sprayed the green gray, the pea green, and the saffron as of now. So I'm gonna start out with those three colors. I am working on a five by eight. Is it five by eight? Yes, five by eight Canson watercolor paper. And the goal is, we don't know. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna keep it loose. We'll just jump in and we'll see what is gonna come out of it. As usual, I have no plan. That is, should be my, <laughs> should be my tagline. I have no plan. <laughs> I see some merch in the future. All right, <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna start with the lighter colors and then move on to the, um, the darker, the green gray. I absolutely love the saffron yellow. It's my favorite, favorite color in this set. Ooh. Oh, I want to bring out my gold. See, I always forget about the gold. I'll be right back. All right, I've um, put some water in the lightest one and uh, I'm just gonna let it, let it sit there and soak up soak up the um, the water I feel like it, it could use a fourth color that is not green or or yellow but what what should we use Maybe the um, the Mars yellow, this one. Let's try that. This is more like a like a burnt sienna type. I did not prep it, so but I think it should be fine. Let me put a piece of paper down. Catch some of the, catch some of those shenanigans. Okay. I think I can start bringing in the gold. I like that um, burnt sienna. Let's bring a little bit more in. And then a little bit more saffron. I don't want that darker green to take over too much. Ooh. 
What do we think? This part is starting to get a little bit muddy. I'm gonna soak some of it up. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Use some more gold. All right, I, I know I said I don't want to bring in more of the green, but just a little bit over here. We need to balance it out a little bit. I like what's happening over here. I think we could use a little bit more of that orange in that corner because it's mingling with the, uh, the gold, that light gold. Wow, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Hmm. I wonder if I could pop in some of the vermilion into that orange, just to give it a little bit more oomph. God, these colors are not my favorite. Where is she going with this? We don't know. I always find it challenging to come to a conclusion when I work with colors that I don't love. Well, we're gonna put it aside and we're gonna let it dry and then we'll come back and see what we can make out of it. How about that? In the meantime, I'm gonna try another one. Well, 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 once again, I am happy. I gave it another chance. This is something I can work with, so yay for me. You just never know. It always looks completely different when it's dry. So don't get discouraged. I did do another one and I was also not super satisfied with that one. Um, I will still use it, but I'll probably, I won't film this one, I'm not sure. Uh, this one is a lot more bright and vibrant and is a little bit more appealing to me at the moment so I'm gonna just um, continue with this one I brought out my diluted sepia this is diluted acrylic ink not um, paint it's ink so but I diluted it a little bit so that it is not so dark um, and then I have my ruling pen and I'm gonna just use this to do my initial lines. And I like using this because it gives me a more organic feel to the lines. And I don't think I want to do too many um, 
neurographic lines or, or black lines on this one. And so I think the, the darker brown would work better. So I, I will still use the fine liner pens, the black ones, when I do my doodling. But for the initial lines, I'm just gonna use this. So I have it in this little container. It has a lid on it and it's just diluted with the water. I'm going to use my left hand to begin with so that I don't have so much control over where the lines are going because my, my strong hand is my right hand. And um, yeah, I'm just going to um, pause it here and then um, have the rest of the video in time lapse for you. And I will probably chat with you on the voiceover. All right, I'll be right back. For a second, I almost forgot that I said I was going to work with my left hand. And after that initial line was put down, I immediately wanted to switch to my right hand. And then I remembered that I said I was going to work with my left hand instead. Um, so it's interesting how your brain just takes over. Uh, I do love the inconsistency of the lines this way and the awkwardness of me having to hold that pen and trying to make those lines with my my uh, less stronger hand. I did switch to my right hand uh, in the end there, but that was just because it would have been even more awkward to try and reach that, uh, that right side part of the paper. So... If you want to challenge yourself, I suggest uh, work with your left hand. It really is, um, it's fun because you're not used to it. Or just work with your opposite hand, I should say. Not everybody is right-handed, obviously. As you can see, I did switch to my dominant hand for the rest of the process. But, you know, not everything has to be done with your um, non-dominant hand, obviously. But every now and then, it's fun to switch it up a little bit and you'd be amazed at the outcome it'll give you. I brought in some circles to balance out what was going on with the sepia lines and I ended up going over the circles again because they just looked a little bit too even, too straight. So I sometimes when that happens, I just go over it with my um, with my pen and outline the circles again to make them look a little bit less even but still a perfect circle. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I did like the background as far as what catches my eye um, and it was easy to find things to um, doodle on. It's just the color scheme is not something I usually gravitate towards. And it, when that happens, it is way more difficult for me to start or to commit to a piece. But like I said, sometimes I just I have to remind myself to just stick with it because even though they are not my favorite colors, in the end, it can still amount to something really pretty or fun to look at. I know it may sound like I'm contradicting myself because I did say I loved that saffron yellow and I do like the addition of that orange, that burnt sienna and then the vermilion. So when I say I don't like the color scheme, it's just because I don't usually work with colors like that. So it, I just try to challenge myself every now and then and I need to 
step out of my comfort zone sometimes. So um, by choosing colors that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards, it is a good way for me to do that. I love the addition of the gold pen that I used. I, f I felt like it had quite a bit of gold in it because I used it in the background and it, even though this is not really apparent at the moment, when you look at it in real life, you can see it shimmer quite a bit. Uh, but I, I just felt like it needed a little bit more sparkle throughout the middle. And so the, uh, the addition of the gold pen, I think was a good choice. And then I tend to just use the same doodles that I feel comfortable using at the moment. Uh, I, especially when I work with a background that I'm a little unsure about, I tend to stick with doodles that are comfortable to me. So that might be a good tip for someone who gets stuck in, in, uh, in a piece or doesn't feel inspired to work on a piece. Um, just stick with the doodles that you like. Uh, it will help you get started or find, find some interest in it for you to keep working on it. I have to say this five by eight size is super easy and quick in making the piece and also in editing the footage. <laughs> That's a wonderful plus and surprise. Usually it takes me to edit over an hour footage and this was, I think I had maybe 40 minutes of footage for this piece. So I'm looking forward to going back to my regular size. Um, I only made these sizes because I have those wooden frames that I want to use up. So, um, but I think I want to slowly but surely way, work my way up to a bigger size. How big exactly, I'm not quite sure yet. But um, yeah, um, it was nice for a change to not have to edit so much. <laughs> But to finish off this piece, I am putting on some dots and some more lines. And I also decided that it needed just a hint of a lighter shade. So I added just a very diluted um, acrylic paint in some of the spots. And I wanted it to be fairly soft and so you wouldn't it wouldn't really stand out so much because I didn't think it would it would look good so I just added quite a bit of water to the white and painted a few spots in that very light shade of white and I think it worked I would have liked to um, spread it out a little bit more but I didn't see another space where I could fill in some more white. In the end I think it worked but I'm curious to know what you think. I also did not shade it with the colored pencils this time. Um, I could still do it, I might, but I think the end result has enough contrast as you can see here but I'm always curious what you guys think if you made it this far into the video I thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial and I will see you next week <music>